Valero Alamo Bowl underway. The kick is deep and won't be returned. So that'll bring out Case McCoy and the offense for Texas. So from the 25 yard line in a loaded backfield, it'll be the give to Malcolm Brown and stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Rodney Hardrick made the tackle from his linebacker position. Ducks thinking about a blitz and they bring it. McCoy down the middle and it's intercepted. And it's Patterson coming the other way. Avery Patterson and he's in. Touchdown. Oregon. Well, Jackson Shipley is the go-to guy on third down. So they have Ekpre Olomu on him. Now Shipley is going to actually get separation and is open, but the ball is thrown high, and that enables Avery Patterson, the safety over the top, to get the deflection. It would have been a catch, potentially a first down. The errant throw results not only in the turnover, but the first score of the game for Oregon. And now the Ducks show the formation shifted to the left. And now everybody will come in. And Matt Wogan will attempt the point after. The last thing you want to do against a high scoring offensive team is give them a defensive yeah. touchdown. And that's just what Texas did. So Wogan kicks off again. And again, this one won't be returned. And they'll bring it out to the 25 yard line. Texas cannot afford those kind of mistakes. They have to do all the little things right to have a chance against Oregon. They'll keep it on the ground. And this one only back to the line of scrimmage. Marcus Mariota. And the offense first down from the 24 straight up the middle goes to the 30 and Byron Marshall pick up of six and a quick snap looking for his first throw he might not get it off and again shows his running ability right there and that's something that was taken away from him with that knee injury we talked about to transfer weight and drive the football downfield and here he is running again and a first down pick up of 12 more. For Marcus Mario. It was very effective. They're going 100 miles an hour right now. Running to his left and running for his life. And he got away from Texas again. And he might have another first down as he's knocked out of bounds right at the first down marker. Former quarterback star in his own right at Nebraska in his playing days. Straight up the middle. And they're just getting chunk yardage right now. Byron Marshall might have another first down really close anyway. If you don't disrupt things at the front. Play action pass this time. Mariota down the middle on the run. And another first down of the 12 for Josh Huff. They're quite a pair. Both all Big 12 performers. Jeff Coat number 44 standing up. And here goes Mariota running anyway. He's going to be run out before he can get to the first down marker. But still, they got a whole lot of that back, 18 yards. You want to rush the passer? You want to play man-to-man -man and run with receivers? If you leave a crease, a good quarterback like that's going to find it. Unfortunately for Oregon, just too much yardage needed for that conversion. Ducks don't kick a lot of field goals, whether it be Maldonado or this guy, Wogan. Matt is four out of five, as you saw on the season. 25-yard attempts, and it's up and good. This kick might be returnable. Duke Thomas. And he just got to the 20, and that's all. Without a huddle. Straight up the middle, but Brown will be stood up after a yard gain, and that's it. So in Oregon territory at the 43, and now Bergeron's going to give Brown a breather, and he goes down right at the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a yard. Is that Prey Olumu in on the stop? And he's got a chance from two yards deep. Great speed. But he slowed down and knocked down before he could get to the 25 yard line. Okay. Well, on that last drive. And this is Mariota, who's going to go out of bounds after a pickup of about three. And we check in with Holly. Bad news for Texas. Easy throw and catch to Tyner, the freshman. And he's run out of bounds on the Texas sideline with a first down. Mariota on first down. He's going to run with it again. Boy, he's got great wheels. And I don't mean just for a quarterback, for anybody. Talked about the health of Mariota. Seven carries, 76 yards. This time they go to their tailback, Tyner, and he picks up about three.
The reason that him being a runner, Mariota, is so important to this offense is that makes the defense account for him and add extra people at the line of scrimmage setting up play action pass. There's the play action right down the middle of the tight end. And Bayless got it down to the 11 yard line and lost a wheel, but a pickup of 27. See, here's Bayless. Look at all these guys right around the line of scrimmage. You got to account for the quarterback run. Little play fake. He slips behind the linebackers, and that's an easy throw for Marcus Mariota. And I think more than anything, that play is set up by the fact that Mariota has run for almost 100 yards here early in the ballgame. Third down at 16. Play action. Mariota going to flare it out there to Marshall. He's got Longhorns in front, and he's not going to get anywhere near the first down. Only got about three yards. Hogan hit earlier from 25 yards. He's five out of six on the season. This will be a 32-yard attempt by the true freshman out of Indian Trail, North Carolina. And this one just inside the right upright. So two field goals by the freshman. They lose by Brad and Todd. All right, John, thanks. Texas now going to work from the 36-yard line, and it's Malcolm Brown who picked up about two. Texas here again stuffed on the run. Taylor Hart made first contact on Malcolm Brown, and it's a loss of a yard. McCoy down the middle. It should have been caught by Shipley, but he couldn't hold it. Brian Jackson put a hit on him. A couple of these guys have been playing since their freshman year. They have great communication. They work well together. Brian Jackson, a safety out of Hoover, Alabama. From about six and a half yards to carry to about three and a half. This is a run all the way again. But Mariota, the secondary, and his helmet comes off again, but he's again. got a first down. Well, he's six foot four, 215 pounds with great speed. And you can see how hard he is to tackle. 122 yards against Virginia. That was only on four carries. Lockie will give it off to DeAnthony Thomas. He only got a couple. Second down and eight. He is DeAnthony Thomas spinning his way close to a first down. Second down and nine. Blitz off the corner. And Mariota is going to run the other way, and he's going to get another first down. So again, that's his sixth run of 10 yards or more. Second down and 10 from the 26. He is a long one down the middle, complete. And it's Josh Huff. Pickup of 24 on a first down over. Second down and 19. They've got to get all the way to the Texas 40 for a first down. Mariota, wide receiver screen. That was bobbled, but caught a second time. And now planted is Braylon Addison. And it's going to be the Anthony Thomas. They play it sort of safe here. And the Longhorns swarm under him and around. His receivers aren't exactly doing him any favors. And this one is whipped out, complete to Kendall Sanders. Only got about three out of the deal, but they are in Oregon territory. This is as well as they played, needs to get a stop on this possession. Mariota has been the big play guy, and here he goes again. Mariota down the sideline. Knocked out of bounds in front of the Texas bench, but he's got another huge gain out to the 45-yard line. 132 yards in the first half on 12 carries. 10 yards plus a pop for number eight. Here he is, play action. Down the middle, wide open to Anthony Thomas. And Thomas down to the 36-yard line. They only had two drives of close to five minutes. They both came in the UCLA game. They're on the move right here with 139 left in the half. And coming wide is Thomas Tyner. And Collard almost, but he got extra yardage, and he's close to another first down. Third down and a yard. They go in a hurry. And it's Tyner who's got the first as he spins his way inside the 25. Scott Frost is calling him. Here's a slip screen complete to Addison. Addison, who did he get planted? No way Jackson Jeffcoat's back out there for the Longhorns. Mariota shovel pass inside. First down, Moore. Heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Huff. Well, Peter Jenkins, number 19, reads the play and is in position. He gets off the block, and he's right there, unblocked. Can't make the tackle on Huff. And Huff, as all good ducks do, 
goes airborne. Huff is a physical receiver. He's over 200 pounds, has a very strong lower body, and he ran right through that tackle of Peter Jenkins. What a huge scoring drive. In seven plays, 88 yards, and a touchdown, and that's 20 to 7. And I mean short, down to the 23-yard line. And it goes to Keenan Lowe, and Lowe is out at about the 33. It makes them that much more dangerous. On the ground, Byron Marshall, who's been held pretty much in check tonight, picks up about, you think about the balance of what Mariota has done tonight. As Holly said, 132 on the ground, 130 in the air, and he's going to the air, and a slant down the middle. And a first down at the Texas 43, Josh Huff again. And the play action freezes the linebacker. And now Mariota on the run. This time he'll slide down as he got to the 36-yard line. The longest field goal that Wogan's hit this year is 38 yards. This is a 39-yard attempt. He's two for two tonight. And he's perfect. Doing a good job. True freshman's got nine points in the ball game on field goals. The tight end in motion. They've thrown to him when he's gone in motion, but he's dropped a couple. And this time he's going to be a blocker. They got it to Mike Davis, but only about a yard gain. Nice job by the Oregon defense. Davis in motion. McCoy going to go down. He throws it at the last second, and it's almost intercepted. And they can't protect the quarterback. McCoy tried to step up in the pocket. And a nice second effort by Tony Washington, their leading sacker. Stayed with Inside run this time. Only a couple gained by Thomas. So they can get it in big chunks. Second down and 12. And this time, Mariota got away again. Throws on the run, and he throws a strike to Addison. And it's a first down. He's got the chin strap re-snapped, and it's first down Oregon at the 33. And Tyner is going to empty the backfield. They're going to flip it out to Tyner, though. Avoided a shoestring tackle, and Tyner's got another first down. Adrian Phillips, the safety, read this quickly. He stumbled a little bit going for the tackle, usually a very sure tackle. This time, only a couple for Byron Marshall. Trying to find some new spark for this offense. With that, they'll keep it on the ground of Malcolm Brown, who's been their only offense. And he got a couple more before he ran into Taylor Hart again. And in the shotgun on second down and eight. Quarterback draw all the way. And he drew a bunch of duck defenders after a pickup of a couple more. Texas three out of ten on their third down conversions. And on third and six, swoops. Scans a field and now dancing around and all he can do is find a place to land. Lost a yard and it's fourth down. For Texas after playing in that national championship game in 09, direct result of quarterback play. Mariota on the run again. Whoops. I hope that knee didn't give out. He went down on his own and he's tested it. So dream job. And he's got some dream players and one of them just got planted. That's, that's the trademark of Oregon, and so you can bottle them up, bottle them up, bottle them up, and then they explode on you for a big play. And that time, a power run by Marshall. He ran over Jenkins. First down. Mariota on the sideline throws a strike close to a first down to Braylon Addison again. Mariota on a seam route complete. And that's Johnny Munt, the freshman tight end, who they think might end up being a star someday. Pick up a 20. Just staying in the pocket, stepping up a little bit, and then finding that seam route. Again, you run vertical routes against zone defense, and you just wait for a receipt. So first down at the 33 of the Longhorns. And Thomas Tyner, the freshman tailback, back in there with Mariotta. And Mariota down again, the other side. And Josh Huff, tough catch. Just kind of another seam route against zone. So as soon as he clears an opening, Huff looks back to the quarterback, knowing. Tyner. Hanging with it was Timothy Cole, who brought him down after a pickup of four. Bergeron, he's going to go down for a loss. Raheem Cassell, who was 
Racine Castle, who was shaken up earlier in the ball game, made the stop from his linebacker spot. Sixth time, actually, they've been third down and ten or longer, and they haven't converted any of them so far. They open the fourth. They still don't. Oh. Anthony Thomas has to go to the ground to get that pass from Mariota. From Aldonado to punt. Jackson Shipley now runs up. Expecting, I guess, a fake. He's just going to let it go again. This is the second time tonight they don't really have anybody back there. And they're going to down it at about the two yard line. Wow, you can't do it any better than that. Well, Texas went for a block, so they brought extra rushers in. And they didn't. And they'll pay the price. They're going to be in a deep hole offensively when we return. From the three yard line, Case McCoy back in there. And Brown tripped up, lost yardage. Kaylee Keepy, the senior, made this. Uh, well done. Hart does a nice job taking on the double team, and that opens the gate for Kaylee Keepy. And they'll keep it on the ground. And that's a tough yard. Hardrick runs into Brown at the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they get more than that here. He might not get the pass away. He won't. Joe Walker, the outside linebacker with a sack. It's going to come right through here, and Bergeron's just going to miss him. His eyes go the wrong place. He doesn't see the linebacker. He doesn't end up blocking anybody, and that one should have been picked up by Joe Bergeron, and instead, Walker fights his way through for the sack. Third down and 15. McCoy moves his tight end, and in the shotgun, trying to throw on third and long. Steps up, zips it down the middle, intercepted, coming the other way again. For the second time tonight, this is Derek Malone. And Malone is going to score. Touchdown, Oregon. Here's Derek Malone, and he's going to drop into coverage, and then you're going to see Case McCoy's eyes go one way and lose track. But right here, as he gets ready to scramble, his eyes are looking right here at Mike Davis all the way, and he loses track out of his blind spot where Derek Malone is. Never saw him. That's why he thought he was throwing into an open void. Instead, Derek Malone was waiting on the back side of it to not only intercept it. Which is up and just inside the left upright. So Matt Wogan's been a busy kicker as both a kick off artist and an extra point and field goal kicker. And this one goes to the one yard line of Marcus Johnson. And Johnson trying to cut it outside. I'll just make it to the 20 and that's it. And Texas from the 20 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Bergeron's going to lose two or three yards. Got a whole flock of ducks on his back. And then in February, he and 12 other guys are going to Argentina to shoot some more birds. And now Malcolm Brown trying to do his thing, and he's going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Christian French and Taylor Hart are there. And this time, Swoops is going down for a loss. Oregon played it beautifully. Rodney Hardrick, the middle linebacker, on the stop, and it's fourth down. He would have been a high pick, too, but he's decided to come back. And that makes Oregon one of the favorites next year for sure. Along with guys like Byron Marshall, who just ripped off another nine yard run. A lot more stuff. <laughs> yeah. When you're a position coach, it's one thing. When you're a coordinator, it's another thing. When you're a head coach, there's a lot of stuff. It's very unusual yeah. to see a staff like that. Again, just keeping it on the ground and close to a first down as we're down to the final minutes put together a fine ACC program in North Carolina and tonight he caps it so we wish he and Sally Oregon too much and too good and he knows it and they win it the Ducks 30 to 7 tonight <laughs> there's a little respect